Good morning, or maybe good afternoon for some of you. My name is Gerardo. I'm the founder and CEO of Charnut. I'm also a family medicine physician and hospitalist, and I'm passionate about efficient medical documentation and empowering clinicians with technology. Charnot is a tool for clinicians to expedite their medical documentation. We partner with Ognito to provide next generation AI voice recognition. Today, I want to um, start by exploring how medical documentation affects clinicians and patients, and then discuss some of the current and future tools that can help with it. Last year in the US, there was more than a 30% increase in investments into the AI health sector. It jumped from $6 million in 2020 to $8 billion in 2021. Investors recognize the enormous potential that AI solutions can offer to improve every aspect of healthcare, from patient care to cost reductions by reducing process inefficiencies. This is paired with an explosion of data coming not only from EHRs, but also from patients themselves through consumer wearables and health apps. An average of 250 health apps are released every day, and currently there are over 350,000 health apps available. When healthcare transitioned from paper charts to EA charts, the burden of medical documentation for clinicians increased. These legacy systems are good tools for reading and writing data, but don't have the reliability and availability of big tech companies, platforms like Google or Amazon. EHRs come way behind these platforms when it comes to user friendliness or consumer experience. Will AI solve the burden of overwork and burnout clinicians? AI has the potential to decrease the administrative waste caused by charting, freeing up clinicians' time to focus on the patient. Even before COVID pandemic, almost half of the US physicians reported feelings of burnout. Because of COVID, burnout is now more common among intensivists, but historically clinicians that work in primary care specialties are the most affected. These include family medicine, obstetrics and gynecology, internal medicine, and pediatrics. Coming up with solutions that address physician burnout is very important. Burnout can lead to depression and suicide. In the US, the prevalence of depression of physicians is two times higher compared to the general population. On average, a physician commits suicides every day in the US. There are many contributors to physician burnout, but one of the main causes is medical documentation. Entering data into the EHRs is time consuming and shifts the focus from patient care to administrative tasks. Clinicians have become professional data entry clerks, and this prevents them from practicing at the top of their license. During an average office day, physicians spend about two hours of EHR and desk work for every hour of direct clinical phase with the patients. Outside of office hours, physicians spend another one or two hours of personal time each night doing additional computer and other clerical work. Why is, this, why is the patient not the primary focus of attention during a typical office visit? To have a better understanding of what medical documentation entails, let's dissect the process of charting. First of all, the average office visit in, in primary care lasts about 20 minutes. Of these 20 minutes, more than three quarters of the doctor, sorry, more than three quarters of, of uh, this time, the doctor is interacting with the EHR, about 16 minutes. Uh, a third of this EHR time is spent pre-sharding, reviewing the chart and trying to understand what's going on with the patient in front of them, reviewing previous visits, notes from other doctors, and lab results. Almost a quarter of this EHR time is spent on actual documentation, writing the note and en entering other data like diagnosis and billing codes. Once the doctor has an assessment of the problems being assessed during the visit and has a treatment plan, the remaining of the time is spent placing orders on the EHR. As you can see, the primary care clinician spends more time data mining and finding information than writing the note itself. 
Even before EHRs were fully adopted, physicians relied on third parties to complete their medical documentation, from staff to transcription services. While medical transcriptionists are not mainstream any longer, medical scribes are popular. Almost 20% of physicians in the U.S. use scribes. And nowadays, speech recognition is even more popular. More than 60% of physicians in the U.S. use this tool to dictate their notes. Another low-tech tool to expedite their medical documentation is the use of problem-oriented templates. They not only decrease charting time, but also improve the quality of the note. Using scribes and transcription services is not only expensive, but they both have their unique set of limitations. They are both labor intensive and are hard to scale. Transcription turnaround time for completed notes can take up to 24 hours. Onboarding a scribe is time consuming and these positions have high rates of turnover, making the quality of and consistency of this service unreliable at times. Uh, dictating a note using speech recognition has many advantages. The advantage of dictating versus typing a note using a keyboard is significant. A physician on average can type 35 words per minute. Uh, on the other hand, speech recognition software can easily transcribe over 150 words per minute. AI has a tremendous impact on the accuracy and quality of speech recognition by leveraging deep learning to achieve voice to text and include some natural language understanding. This next generation voice recognition has the ability to detect intent. It can understand voice commands from the user. This very high level natural language processing task allows these tools to be sort of an assistant to the doctor using speech recognition and artificial intelligence to populate a note in the EHR using the physician's voice without navigating the EHR user interface. Many companies now offer solutions that use deep learning NLP. However, most of them still require a human in the loop to assure quality of the medical documentation. Ambient clinical intelligence is what the future of AI in medical documentation will be. The goal is to remove the keyboard and the mouse from the doctor-patient interaction. Admin clinical intelligence captures a multi-party conversation and creates clinical documentation automatically by using text summarization. The white papers from companies offering these tools show more than a 50% reduction in documentation time and physician burnout. These are obviously the results of small studies, but there is real potential in, in this elegant solution. Uh, the nuances of facial expression, body language, and other nonverbal cues are aspects of a clinician-patient conversation that cannot be captured by ambient listening. This is assuming that the patient actually speaks English, not everything that transpires in a visit needs to be documented. If a doctor tells a joke, for example, uh, that doesn't need to be in the note. Um, admin clinical intelligence will still need some cues from the clinician to flag what's relevant and some, somehow get the whole assessment and plan that the clinician is thinking in his head and didn't communicate to the patient because of jargon or, or some other reason. Um, these are some of the limitations that I mean clinical intelligence has. The environment itself can be a barrier. Trying to capture audio in a PC emergency room can be a nightmare. A key challenge to this innovation is the willingness and infrastructure of EHR companies to support integrating third-party applications. Traditionally, EHRs are well known for limiting innovation with their restrictive interoperability. And although EHR's connections with outside systems have improved, there are different levels of interoperability. The basic level is foundational, where a completed note can be delivered to the EHR, but a structural integration where discrete data elements can be exchanged is needed so that AI assistants can pull out patient context and complete tasks. For example, a doctor could give a voice command to send a prescription or order a lab. 
this can save pre precious time during the visit and enhances a doctor-patient interaction. A study on EHR usability showed that it can take 62 clicks for a doctor to place an order of Tylenol. What are the three main goals of medical documentation? One is to support continuity of care. The second one is billing. We need those ICD-10 EM codes and CPT codes, otherwise we don't get paid. If it's not documented, it didn't happen. The third one is to cover our behind. Uh, Medicare, with their Patients Over Paperwork initiative, updated their office visit coding guidelines last year to make them simpler and more flexible. Changes included eliminating history and physical exam as elements for code selection. A key change in the guidelines is that now ancillary staff or the patient itself can record the chief complaint or the history of present illness. So the patient could complete a questionnaire and the answers could become part of the note. This opens up the possibilities. You could use an electronic form with questions for the patient to fill out prior to the visit uh, and use that in your uh, documentation. Uh, but what if instead of a simple form, we use AI conversational agents to collect patient information? They can be text-based like chatbots or voice-based. Almost everyone has a smartphone these days and up to 35% of Americans use some sort of smart speaker on a daily basis. Of course, there are limitations. Alexa not always understands what we're trying to say and we have to repeat ourselves, but NLP is advancing rapidly. Another aspect of medical documentation where AI is having an impact is using NLP to analyze unstructured medical text from a note and automatically extract information like medications or medical conditions. When we link these entities to medical ontologies, we can suggest actionable insights to the clinician. These insights can support clinical decision making and improve patient care. By analyzing and extracting Meaning from the clinical notes, we can automate content population in the EHRs. For example, ICD-10 codes. This can have a great impact on the revenue cycle. Ultimately, the goal is that AI can help clinicians with all these administrative burdens so that they can focus on the patient and improve their experience. AI is transforming healthcare and it's given us the chance to reimagine medical documentation because medical notes by themselves don't provide health care. It's humans that do. Thank you for your time, and please uh, comment below for any questions.